The 2019 25th Anniversary National Legends Cars Championship is sponsored by 24-Hour Solutions. No problems, only solutions. Hello and a very warm welcome to programme three of the 2019 24-Hour Solutions National Legends Cars Championship. We're on the Isle of Anglesey, stunning views and some stunning racing ahead at one of the most spectacular racetracks in the UK. One event complete, that was Brands Hatch back in April. We've got six more events to go. As we left Brands Hatch, it was Connor Mills who topped the championship table. Second position, Cy Haraway, last year's rookie champion, Multi-titleist John Nicholl in third ahead of Miles Rudman, Jack Parker in fifth from James Hall Morton, Marcus Pett and Sean Smith. Well, here we are at Anglesey for round three of this exciting championship. Uh, beautiful circuit, weather looks pretty good as well. Now, last time out, we saw you had quite a big incident at Brands Hatch. What's happened from then to now? And uh, tell us about the vehicle. Uh, so the car was a bit of a mess, so we've took the decision to build a completely brand new car in the time frame we had we didn't think we would have time to get it stripped over to someone to rejig it and then back so uh, we've stripped the car down taken the wire and harness and the bits we can save out of it and then just built a brand new car up uh, unfortunately yesterday in testing we were running the old engine and it seems that the old engine had damage as well so unfortunately that didn't last too long before it let go on us as well so we're still ironing out some of the little niggles from the accident and trying to check some of the electrical sides that we've swapped from one car to the other but hopefully we'll be good and back together for the next race. John, great to see the quick steel number four uh, machine there looking as pristine as ever. Uh, qualifying done, how's it going? Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, we had uh, quite a few issues at Brands Hatch and uh, finished quite strong, I think 50 points off the lead, so it's not too bad. Uh, we, have good, we have had bad weekends looking good like that, then this season's not going to be too bad. But there's a lot of fast people out there and we've just got to make sure the, uh, the quick steel car's at the sharp end. Usually are, we do normally see you on podiums, but consistency, you go for the, the big picture normally. You don't necessarily go for the win, you go for the points, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're out there to race and to win, and if we can get a win, then we'll go for it. But uh, sometimes you just have to, if it's a half a gap, and you know you might not make it, you just done well going for it. It's, it's, it's better to finish and not finish, and the bigger picture is, is the bigger picture, obviously, and uh, the championship at the end of the season. Um, but, you know, we're getting old and wise, so we sort of like read it better than some of the others. So we just need that little bit of luck, what everybody needs, and hopefully we can uh, and be somewhere near Cumberland Hatch in November. Mike, we didn't get a chance to catch up with your brands. A busy weekend, certainly. Ups and downs for you, but not a bad start to the season. Well, yeah, not brilliant. Um, I had a couple of 15ths and a 16th. So I was down the wrong end of the uh, pack in the results, and I had a, a DNF. I put the car in the tyre wall. Um, but we found something that was a little bit down on power, so hopefully we sorted that. Anglesey will be a good track with the long back straight to use that power. And I went well here last year, so I'll put Brands Hatch behind me and just have a, a, a good weekend here. That's the plan. Beautiful circuit here, great backdrop. Uh, quite challenging, kind of things, things like the corkscrew and so forth. Quite a different driving uh, than it is at Brands. Yeah, it's a great circuit. You've got everything, uh, perfect for a legend car. You've got nice, tight, twisty sections, then you've got the long back straight to do some really good drafting. So it's, it suits the cars really well, but yeah, it can catch you out and bite you uh, very easily. Yeah. The draw was kind to Nick Bridgman in blue and Nathan Anthony in yellow in the van and then Mike Schlupp third in the black number three, the man we just heard from, Sean Smith in the 21 car, then Jack Parker and James Hall Morton. So many race winners at the front of the grid. In fact, all of the drivers capable of getting into the top six and many of them have won before. It's Nathan Anthony on pole. He'll maybe consolidate the lead round turn one. He doesn't. Nick Bridgman holding him on the inside line now as they go into the banking for the first time so Bridgman held out on the outside on turn one 
and he's got the look at him working the wheel Nathan Anthony same two with Bridgman in the blue 68 and it's Bridgman that's got the lead Anthony about to lose second James Hall Wharton going through into second position race winner at Brands maiden race winner of course James and he's challenging Nick Bridgman big sideways moment there for John T Norman first outing of the season for him so he can be excused that but he'll be back on the gas and trying to get back up with the field but it's Bridgman still in front now Anthony is past Anthony was momentarily back into second Jack Parker second and now going through is Cy Haraway or Scythe Haraway scything his way through as Jack Parker looks on the outside line of Nick Bridgman who's defending well a little bit of smoke there from Sean Smith in the 21 car as they head back towards the start finish line so this is through Peel they'll now head down towards the corkscrew look at that view they could be going straight into the sea but it's Nick Bridgman still out front good battle between Haraway and Parker for second James Hall Morton is third then Connor Mills the championship leader in blue and silver followed by Miles Rudman who is fourth in the standings this remember a balloted grid and they will reverse those positions and it's Nick Bridgman who gets a, a career lap led on his stats into pit lane comes Will Gibson we weren't expecting to see Will here at one point due to the accident at Brands Hatch and the lead is now with Cy Haraway. So Haraway second in the championship. Sean Smith limps round into pit lane. Having spotted that uh, engine smoke, let's hope it's not meeting terminal for him because we've got six races to get through here on Anglesey, three of which constituting round three. This programme as Marcus Peck goes on the inside line of Nathan Anthony. The yellow 51 of Masters champion Paul Simmons looking to follow through as well. Phil Turner has a gyration, but he's back on the gas very quickly. Great recovery from him. It's all action absolutely everywhere here in race seven of the year with Cy Haraway leading now from Jack Parker, Miles Rubman, Nick Bridgman fourth, Connor Mills fifth, Marcus Pett next up from Nathan Anthony, Paul Simmons on the inside line of James Hall Morton, Paul Simkiss in the black and fluorescent 99 is there as well. Wow, what a start we've had. This, is, this track could have been designed for legends, but it uses the natural contours of the circuit it's a wonderful place, everybody loves it. They're talking about developing the circuit even more to attract higher, higher profile championships, maybe touring cars or GTs. That's a problem for Bill Reid in the 67. Uh, Bill having a, a spin, but getting back on the gas. And he's passed by Mike Schlurp. So Mike's not had the start that he wanted, but uh, manages to pull a place back. Does Mike, his 129th career start. There's John Mickle, the... Uh, multi-champion who is busy now and catching this front group as you can see he's with his teammate here 51 Paul Simmons and John will have a look through on the inside line as they head through school corner James Hall Morton the next car that he wants to try and catch as they go up the hill into Rocket still Jack Parker well not still Jack Parker Jack has taken the lead so Harrowy down to third Miles Rubman in second so it's Parker the Mid Midlander who is out front Miles Rubman next up from Cy Haraway, Cy won the opening race at Brands Hatch and he's 40 points behind Connor Mills in the championship here, here is uh, 247 Phil Turner busy chasing John T Norman so a good battle between those two and Jack Parker looking relatively comfortable at the moment out front from Miles Rudman across the line they go and Nick Bridgman, a little mistake for him there and leaves the door open for two cars to nick past on the inside line as Parker continues to lead but he's coming under a bit of pressure now for Miles Rudman Cy Haraway possibly at this stage keeping a watching brief as uh, if you can get away in lead position that's what you need to do in Legends but other than that if you're fighting it could be about making a move towards the closing stages to come through for the race win it's Parker out front you've got to say the winner is probably going to come from the top five and possibly Miles Rudman who goes on the inside line as they go through church up into school corner now and climb up the hill Rudman is away and Jack Parker looks like he's got an issue Parker down to third maybe about to be fourth courtesy of Connor Mills Mills is challenging him on board with Nathan Anthony who I think maybe had a bump we certainly heard a clatter so Anthony loses what was going to be a good finish Rob King in the 74, another former race winner, 13th in the championship, coming to Anglesey after our opening weekend, Easter weekend it was at Brands Hatch. What a weekend's racing we had there, wonderful weather, as James Hall Morton chases John Mickle. I was nearly tempted to say Pete Morton then, it's Pete's old livery, as you probably remember from Brands Hatch in our last show, the retro livery on the 32 car. And that's the livery that 
Peter won the national championship, I think maybe won the world championship as well. Paul Simmons in 51 is in behind, then Nick Bridgman with Rob King and Paul Simkis, and behind them, going into the drawn grid rather than starting at the back for the first time, is our newcomer, Max Rainbow, ex Geneta driver we met at Brands Hatch. You have to start your first two meetings as a rookie at the back of the grid, so this is his first time going into the proper grid, as it were. So Bridgman from King, the field getting slightly spaced out, all finding their spaces in this race at the moment. And Bridgman from the front row of the grid, as we said, gaining more and more confidence. Never raced anything before coming into Legends. He's only done 67 career races, so he's one of the, the least experienced drivers in this field and Connor Mills now goes through so Mills up ahead of Miles Rudman Connor Mills the championship leader picking up where he left off at Brands Hatch and has got the lead Connor Mills he had a retirement at Brands Hatch as well so to come away from Brands with the championship lead after having a DNF was a very remarkable set of scores for Connor Mills but this one is not over by any stretch of the imagination as Miles Rudman uses the draft comes out of the slipstream Cy Haraway is going to muck Connor Mills the other side so the boys in black come through first and second Rudman from Haraway Connor Mills is next up Marcus Pett running well too in fourth position all of these drivers have race winning history and they all know how to race with each other as King goes through on the inside line of Bridgman there is Matt Rainbow in the number six looking on the inside line the Dynarod car goes through makes the move of course being a rookie and starting at the back of the grid through first two meetings if you've got racecraft as Matt does you can use that to learn how the legends work out and he, Matt had a, a tenth place in race three from the back of the grid at Brands Hatch in race three so had a very very good race indeed as Miles Rudman continues to lead here now look at this round the outside line goes Marcus Pett side by side with championship leader Connor Mills through the banking it's Miles Rudman still out front Rudman leading Cy Haraway in second position Marcus Pett is in third now they go through church and up the hill once again. Four-way battle for the lead. Miles Rudman out front at the moment. Cy Haraway looks to the inside line. Marcus Pett all over him. And now look at Connor Mills looking on the inside line as they go through school corner but he's got the outside for the entry into Rocket. Can't make that stick, but if he can hold on to the outside line, it will convert to the inside for the out now. And in fact, go, doesn't go through into third, goes through into second pass Miles Rudman as well. Great move by Connor Mills, but it's still Cy Haraway out front. Miles Rudman in third. Marcus Pett in the 79 is next up. Here is Matt Rainbow. Matt in ninth place, up ahead at the moment of Rob King. Rob King trying to get past, Matt Rainbow here will go one position better than his best result at Brands Hatch. Mike Schlupp has recovered well, Mike in 13th, and that's Bill Reid immediately behind in 67, heading for 14th place. That will be uh, Bill's best result of the season too if he holds on to that in the 67 car, one of the Bridgman Motorsport machines, and we go back to the lead quartet, I tell you what, fifth and sixth not that far behind as well but it's Cy Haraway still out front and has he got all the answers for Connor Mills who's still there in second and now looking for the inside line Miles Rudman is going to maybe bump draft with him and try and go through on the inside line here through church up into school corner they're not bump drafting anymore and Connor Mills has got the lead Mills through into first position Haraway second Marcus Pett now going for the outside line can Marcus hold on to it he's chipping away goes through into third place and Miles Rudman from second is now down to fourth with all the work to do once again and it's Connor Mills who leads this one took three wins at Brands Hatch looking for career win number four of the season Connor looking for career, the 19th career win as uh, he comes down through the corkscrew Cy Haraway second Marcus Pett third then Miles Rudman Right behind them, the battling duo of James Hall Morton and John Mickle, headed by John Mickle in the silver number four, the multi champion, still collecting very valuable points here, even with a, a fifth position in the offing. As Marcus Pett looks down the inside line of Cy Haraway, Connor Mills going up slightly onto the banking there, still in the lead. So it's 
Mills from Haraway, Pett, then Miles Rudman next up. Miles only bagging one podium at Brands Hatch, but still fourth in the standings, very consistent, which is what you need to do. So here they come. Here's the battle I was telling you about, fifth and sixth. James Hall Morton, race winner at Brands Hatch, busy chasing. John Mickles still hasn't had a race win so far this year. But it's all about points, as he said, in that conversation with Barry, if he can get a win. He goes, Sai Haraway's back in the lead, and Connor Mills is was momentarily down to third. And Sai Haraway's gone through on the inside line. Marcus Pett's coming up and challenging for second, and indeed the lead. Miles Rudman in the mix as well. Haraway just got across there on the racing line. He saw that Pett was coming. They're three wide for second position here as they head into the corkscrew for the last time. Haraway for Rudman, then Marcus Pett. Connor Mills back in form, side by side. Rudman in second at the moment, can he get across and consolidate it on the left hand of the final turn on the lap? It's Cy Haraway, I think, who is going to take the win. Connor Mills goes wide, it's Haraway that wins. Rudman second, Marcus Pett in third place, and they were followed by John Nickel and James Hall Morton. We're looking at Nathan Anthony, he is in 11th place here. Rob King is in 12th. Here they come, a good back for them. Anthony, of course, starting up the front end of things just holding off Rob King. But what a legends race we had here, the seventh race here, first race of the weekend of this double header on Anglesey. Haraway from Rudman and Pet Connor Mills fourth from John Mickle and James Hall, Morton, Paul Simmons, head of Paul Simkiss, then Matt Rainbow and Nick Bridgman, 10th, 11th goes to Nathan Anthony, Rob King next from Mike Schlup and Bill Reed. John T. Norman in 15th, Phil Turner, is in 16th place, couple of non-finishes, fastest lap went to Connor Mills in the 82 car. So, a fantastic win there, and uh, that's the second weekend you've done that in a row. Yeah, I couldn't have uh, hoped for any better, it was a hell of a race. Um, very, very close right to the end, it could have been one of four of us. It was just lucky I was the one who was uh, there for the toe on the last lap. Got past Connor down into the, um, at the end of the straight, into the second gear left and uh, the rest is history, it was, uh, it was a you know, really, really good race. Without tempting fate, a great start to the season really. Yeah, well we've got new, new equipment this year, Craig at Pro24 has built me a new car, um, we've gone across to Mike Fancy Engines, so uh, the package together has been really, really good, obviously very competitive, and uh, I've just got to keep it going, you know, keep scoring points, keep finishing races, and we'll see where we are at the end. Miles, a lot of slick moves there on those uh, first few laps, and then it was all about the top four. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it was just a case of uh, getting to the front really and, and trying to get your head down and work with the other guys and just see if we can uh, break the draft and and then, uh, yeah, just yeah, see what happens at the end really. It was, uh, it was a really close race, so it could have been between any any four of us, I think, so. I wasn't sure whether you and Si were helping each other or just initially, but obviously you get to a point in a race where you think, well, I've just got to go for it now. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, I think, you know, we were both racing, we are both racing to win and, you know, uh, yeah, you know, some, in some positions you do try and help each other, whether it's your teammate or not. So, um, but yeah, you just got to race to win if you want to win. So, Marcus, a great start to the weekend there for the 79 machine. Uh, some pretty close racing there throughout. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, the start to the weekend we wanted, considering where we started on the grid in uh, P11. So, we had some good good progress in the early laps, and uh, yeah, some tough battling at the front towards the end of the race, which made it made it exciting. Second half, it was all about the top four, really, wasn't it? It was. We seemed to we seemed to break away and just work together. And um, yeah, then the the elbows came out. Should we stay on the last couple of laps? And yeah, we managed to come away with third. So yeah, pleased with that. Rob King starts on the front rank for this one. Will Gibson in the black and blue 57. The fluorescent and grey number six of Matt Rainbow. First time off the front of the grid for Matt. He was off the back in race one. First time in the main group. We're Legends racing again. This is race two. And a good start by the entire field. It's Rob King that leads them. Will Gibson in second. And Marcus Pett is in third place. That really underlines how well Marcus Pett did in race number one to be with that lead quartet. He is really on form today. Three wide, maybe four wide as they go around the banking for the first time. Gibson is going to think about having a look down the inside line of the race leader, Rob King. It's Paul Simmons on the outside line but it's King that leads them Gibson runs a little bit wide Marcus Pett sees a gap goes through John Mickle working with him Mickle is 
by my reckoning now joint third in the championship. We've got a tie for the lead on my mass between Connor Mills and Cy Haraway and a tie for third between John Mickle and Miles Rudman, but that's all unofficial, that's just my maths. But Rob King second defending from John Mickle there, who was looking around the outside line, and that's opened the door for Connor Mills to try and come through in the blue and grey card. Can't quite do it, didn't have the momentum, and John Mickle stays there in third place. Will Gibson now is challenged by Matt Rainbow, who looks up the inside line in the diner rod number six. Sorry, Haraway, 83 coming through as well. So a lot of the front runners from race one who started towards the front or mid of the pack already up at the front in this one and looking to add to their points tallies. Haraway on the inside line there of Rainbow. Through they go to complete the lap. On board with Nathan Anthony and back end on the 51 machine. Oh, it clips the back end of Nathan Anthony's car around. Now has that damaged Nathan's car? He still can't get it going where he wants it to go, but he'll get it in gear and rejoin. But you can see the field have already gone past. So Nathan Anthony in the van has got some work to do. I thought he got away with that, but just a, a clip on the back end. He might have to pick maybe sort the problem. Let's have a look, see if we can pick any damage up. I can't see any from a quick glance at the car. Oh, but there's damage as James Hall Morton and Paul Simkis come together at the top of the hill. It's going to push them down the order. Nick Bridgman has a scary moment as well but manages to go through so it's Marcus Peck starting to break away a little bit or he was with when uh, Rob King was second but he's still in the lead and John Mickle in second place in silver followed by championship leader Connor Mills through the final bend look at the lead that Pett has got he really has got the car hooked up around here he was quick in race number one with a, a good podium finish for Marcus Pett had three career wins. James Hall Morton into the pits for some diagnostics or possibly a retirement. It remains to be seen as Jack Parker chases Matt Rainbow. Matt working hard, did indeed get his best career result thus far in his seventh race with that ninth in race number one. John Mickle still in second. Connor Mills is third now. Miles Rudman fourth from Rob King. Will Gibson there and thereabouts as well. Nathan Anthony recovering. Engaging in battle with the 24 hour solutions car of Phil Turner. Anthony goes through in the first full Vans machine. It's Marcus Pett, still the race leader. John Mickle is in second. Rob King getting very close there to Miles Rudman, so things relatively settled at the moment. Now it looks to me like Will Gibson is getting to grips with the 59 car, 57 car rather in this one and about to pop a challenge on the inside line here to take the place from Rob King now Sy Haraway's going to look up the inside line as well Haraway the 83 I reckon joint championship leader makes up another position here and goes into the banking he'll be keen to get onto the lead group who are a little way away but if he can get his head down he might be able to close in if they squabble amongst themselves I'll tell you what Marcus Pett though is away and down the road and trying to build a lead and that is great legends tactics for Marcus Pett to try and get away still John Mickle next up from Connor Mills in the 82 Jack Parker on the inside line there about to make a move which he does on the inside of Sy Haraway so Parker passes Haraway then it's Gibson and King still very much at it immediately behind them side by side with Matt Rainbow wanting to get involved as well and Matt beginning to close in, might fancy his chances somewhere in the corkscrew to make the move down on the inside line. Gibson runs a little bit wide and that affords the opportunity for the six car to go through. Gibson will regroup and try and repass him later on in the lap. Six car now looking at the inside line of 74. Rob King, Rob had a best of fifth position at Brands Hatch. Getting himself back in hopefully for a full campaign this year and at the moment just the better of Matt Rainbow with Gibson again you can see Will, uh, Will Gibson really starting to get back on it in the 57 Clark closing down on the number six machine of Matt Rainbow down behind them it's Sean Smith in 21 after his problems in race number one good to see Sean going well in this one as to his Marcus Pett still out front and it's the Trinity for third place now and Connor Mills I was going to say it's not it's a duo for second because Connor Mills looks like he's got a problem Mills is on for a second DNF of the season
Connor Mills is going to be bitterly, bitterly disappointed. He really did not need two DNFs in the first two meetings. But he, he's made of stern stuff. He will come and fight back for the remainder of the meeting because he won't be too far away from the championship lead still. But uh, out front, it's still Marcus Pett. Miles Rudman in the seven car is running there currently in third place. John Mickle second in the four. Jack Parker having a much better run here in the 13 is in the mix as well with Cy Haraway not too far behind as well. Then it is Matt Rainbow. So Matt Rainbow heading for a an improvement again on his first race in the mix as it were as they head up towards Rocket let's see what Parker will do about Miles Rudman Miles getting defensive goes to the inside line and he's making Parker do all the work Parker grabs the inside for the first part of Rocket the outside line maybe beckons but he can't do anything about it so John Nick looking good in second place Parker has another look here is Paul Simmons and Paul Simkiss involved in a, a good battle Simmons car with that little bit of damage that's we were looking at the back end of Nathan Anton's car after that wild moment earlier in the race for 51 where the back end went around and that was the damage on the front end he'll replace the bumper on the front there's Bill Reed having a, another good race in the 67 car but back up to Miles Rudman in third place. This is the battle for the final podium position here. John Mickle not that far ahead of them. And in, in second place at the moment, John Mickle, this will be John's best result of the year. And we're in the third event or the third round of the season. If he can hold on to second place, but championship wise, John Mickle here, by my reckoning, will go into second place in the championship. There's Connor Mill stricken car on the inside of the racing school circuit look at this superb battle for third place Rudman holds on to it at the moment Jack Parker holding on from sight Haraway is going to now grab the inside line Haraway is through Jack Parker sees him goes a little bit wider Matt Rainbow still trying to close in on this group as well Marcus Pett the other end of the straight still the race leader Will Gibson running well Sean Smith is in the mix and challenging Rob King in the 74 car We've still got race three where we tot up the points from the two races we've seen and the top point scorers start at the back of the grid. It is all entertainment all the way in 24-hour solutions, legends, cars racing. King all over the back of Gibson. Sean Smith looking to try and make up a position in the 21 car. Smith, another driver, looking for his first race win of the season. Here they come. So Mickle still in second place, Marcus Pett out front. Jack Parker's got the fastest lap of the race this time. It was Connor Mills in race one. Parker in this one as Sean Smith starts to put the pressure on Keane, coming through into Church Corner now. There's no gap there. So these three battling hard at the moment. Sean Smith was eighth in the championship coming here this weekend. So good consistent scoring. But what about this man? He was so quick coming through to the back of the grid in race one. Still up front is Marcus Pett. John Mickle, the Moldy champion, second. Jack Parker having a super dice there with Matt Rainbow, who's gone ahead. So Rainbow continues to impress us in the early stages of his second meeting and up for a fifth position. This is good stuff from Rainbow as King comes under pressure from Sean Smith. Will Gibson's going to have a look on the inside line as well as they come out of Peel Corner. Meanwhile, it's Marcus Pett who's worked hard, battled to get clear of John Mickle. Comes across the line now, onto the last lap. John Mickle in second, is coming under a little bit of pressure from Miles Rudman. Cy Haraway still there in fourth. Haraway will just take out a slight championship lead after this race, if things stay the way they are. Doesn't look like he's going to be threatened from fourth place. There's a great battle going on for fifth with Jack Parker trying to get on back on terms with Matt Rainbow. Through church they go. Marcus Pett is the race leader looking for career win number four here at Pembrey. I know Marcus was a little bit aggrieved to have uh, had an out of position start at Brands Hatch, but he's been so consistent right the way through the six races we've had so far. Best result at Brands fifth place, but absolutely no questioning his place here on Anglesey. Pet the leader, big battle for second now. Miles Rudman closing in on John Mickle. Then it's Cy Haraway, the two last two rookie champions chasing the multi-champion, the former world champion, John Mickle. Mickle's won in whatever formula he's raced in on the circuits and indeed on the small ovals as well. But it's Marcus Pet. oh, Rob King, heartbreak for the 74 car. He's out of the race. 
and some good points, but checkered flag, win for Marcus Pett, second place is John Mickle, third Miles Rudman, they complete the podium, best back rainbow taking another best result in fifth position, another superb legends race, problems for Paul Simkis, who rejoins just behind Nick Bridgman, Nick coming through in 10th place, Paul will finish in 10th just ahead of Nathan Anthony, but it was Marcus Pett, and after that race one result, we could have probably expected him to do that. Win for Pet, John Mickle second, Miles Rudman third from Cy Haraway, and it was Rainbow, Parker, Gibson, Smith, Paul Simmons ninth, Nick Bridgman completing the top 10. 11th went to Paul Simkis from Nathan Anthony and Mike Schlup. Bill Reed next from John T. Norman and Phil Turner. James Hall Morton classified 17th. Fastest lap of the race with Jack Parker. Marcus, I thought we were doing well with the podium on race one there, but we've gone for the win. Yeah, no, well, it was more than happy with, the, with the, how the first race went. And to be honest, we knew we was in good contention with where we were starting in that race. And yeah, I managed to make a good, make a good start and get into the lead on the first lap and, and sort of control it from there, really. So really happy. Maintaining that lead is then tricky because people maybe bump drafting behind you. There was certainly a lot of stuff in your mirrors, but consistently you were just keeping that gap lap after lap, really. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'd, I thought it was a matter of uh, um, when not if they would catch me. I thought uh, they're going to at some point working together, but we, we seem to have good pace in the car and whether they was battling a little bit behind sort of helped me out. But yeah, we kept, kept looking in my mirrors and that gap seemed fairly constant. So yeah, more than happy with that. John, good strong race there, good strong podium finish and uh, get you pretty busy. Yeah, it's very busy around this place. It's a, it's a great leveller. Um, everybody's fairly even and it's just getting the luck of the brakes. Um, and get through the traffic when you can and uh, get up the front end. But uh, once you get there, it's, uh, it's a hard slog. It's uh, that back straight and Fium can't get them draft and they can't pull you in. Uh, we had a couple of issues with mine, um, but they can be easily fixed and hopefully we've, we can find that extra 10 or 15 foot that we need. Miles, we meet again, another podium, great for points. I thought you were going to have Mickle there for a while. Yeah, um, I did myself, but um, I don't know what happened to Connor in that one, but um, I sort of lined, lined him up on the straight and was going to try and draft him. Um, but all of a sudden he, he sort of stopped and I had to uh, swerve last second and uh, it lost me quite a lot of ground. So it took me a few few laps to catch back up with Mickle, but by the time I'd done that, uh, it was too late really, so yeah. Nathan, a busy weekend so far, two races out of the way. Now you're always in amongst the mix and the action there. Um, but it hasn't always gone according to plan. It's been quite busy. Yeah, this weekend has been, uh, <clears throat> the first two races have been a bit tougher. First race we were off the front and um, the best, uh, third or full flap going to the top of the hill, into the hairpin. Uh, the contact with uh, Paul Simmons, number 51. Uh, not intentionally, but we did, we did end up uh, tangling together and I ended up worse off. We got back on, we finished the race, but uh, in 11th place, um, not where we need to be to gain some decent points. Um, second race going forward, um, we were off the back due to the, the grid positioning, um, but we made some good places in the first couple of laps. We were, I was quite pleased with that. Uh, the van felt good, the van felt quite, quite confident, better than the first race. Uh, the tyres seem to work slightly better. Um, I was pushing through and I've got uh, behind a gaggle of cars and number 51 was involved in that gaggle of cars. Unfortunately he lost, uh, he lost his positioning and, and, and went wide going into the first corner and then come back across the track just as I went to uh, overtake and he clipped, uh, clipped the wheel which spun me around and damaged the rear axle. So Connor, we come into this round and you're leading the championship and we've seen you on the podiums all the time and then suddenly in this race too, a bit of a disaster, what happened? Yeah, um, the race was going quite well up until lap five and I uh, just lost all power down the straight. Um, we've just taken the engine off, realised it's the camshaft has uh, snapped or broken, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, so a bit of bad luck, but there we go. Luckily early in the season and you, and you keep consistently getting these points so far, but a bit of a confidence not to start off with though. Yeah, yeah, I mean we're, we're quick, we were quickest in race one, so I'm, I'm not worried about the car or our actual pace, it's just unfortunate that that's happened and we was in third, we was looking strong for another podium, um, which is what it's all about and uh, considering we was leading the championship coming into today, we just really was looking to finish on the top three every race, which that is obviously um, not gone to plan, but we need to just pick ourselves back up and, and carry on really.
So the drivers who haven't had the rub of the green so far start on the front of the grid. Sean Smith and Rob King, then Mike Schlup and Will Gibson on row two. Connor Mills on the third row with Jack Parker. We've got some big hitters on the front of the grid. Here's is going to be another thrilling race on board with Nathan Anthony on the inside line. He's up and challenging Connor Mills. Nathan hoping for better luck here. It's the great thing about legends if you don't get the fortune in the first couple of races you get a chance to start off the front in the final and that's what's happened here with Sean Smith so it's Sean Smith the man that leads them with Rob Keane in second position Connor Mills with his replacement engine looks on the inside line of Mike Schlurp we've already got a battle on for the lead though Sean Smith coming under pressure from Rob King who gets his nose in front and will get across I think as they head up towards Rocket, we've got Will Gibson challenging for third and around the outside line of Sean Smith. Is Gibson going to be able to hang on to that? No, he can't quite do it, but he's still in third. Jack Parker fourth, Nathan Anthony in fifth place from Mike Schlurp. And of the higher point scoring drivers, it's Miles Rudman who leads them through. And already side by side with James Hall Morton. Looks down the inside line. Connor Mills immediately now behind him. So they come down the hill with. Rob King still in front from Sean Smith. Will Gibson in third place, then Jack Parker. Nathan Anthony looking pretty good in that 29 machine. Nathan, a veteran of some 352 career starts in Legends cars. Across the line they go. Doesn't matter what formula you're in here at Anglesey. We've got a big supporting bill this weekend. They're all standing on the pit wall and as near as they can to the circuit to watch these cars and a little lock up there for Mike Schlurp allows Miles, Miles Rubman on the outside line to go through Nick Bridgman in the mix still in the 68 car scored well in the two heats John Mickles up with him Marcus Pett is right behind him Marcus Pett very much in line for the day's overall honours here on Anglesey but it's far too early at the moment to get the abacus out to work out who's going to be the winner down into the corkscrew they come three-way battle for the lead position it's Rob King holding on here soaking up the pressure from Sean Smith but Jack Parker's around the outside line Nathan Anthony has a very good view of the battle for the lead Anthony in fifth place Will Gibson immediately in front of him this gives you a great shot of the speed the close nature of the racing in the legends and Rob King is doing a superb job out front at the moment Anthony though has got Miles Rudman right with him as well so he'll be looking in his mirrors, looking at at the same time, Rudman sees a gap, goes through into fifth position, well read by Miles Rudman. Let's see whether Nathan can have a go back. He's having a look in the wonderful van. James Hall Morton in 32, right behind as well. Then Connor Mills, who seems OK, but perhaps not as racy as we might expect. John Mickle in the number four, the silver machine, is next up as the battle for the lead continues. Still Rob King there at the moment, Jack Parker, He's hungry to take second, which he does. So Parker in second in the 13. Sean Smith is in P3. Miles Rudman now in fourth. Will Gibson side by side with James Hall Morton. And the pack are closing down on the leaders. That's exactly why we have the reverse grid. It's thrilling to watch. Parker on the inside line now. Takes the lead. Jack Parker, the race leader. Now watch Sean Smith. He's going to be all over the back of Rob King, challenging for second. Miles Rudman is in the mix as well. So Rudman trying to come through. Well, if I was a betting man on the form we've seen so far, Miles Rudman might be the man to take this one. He's in fourth place at the moment ahead of Will Gibson. And the car running strongly, but he's back in P4. Jack Parker, of course, no slouch at all. As into pit lane comes Phil Turner in the 24-hour Solutions car, sadly. So decent two finishes in the first two races for him but it looks like a DNF in this one as Jack Parker continues to lead Jack Parker if you look at podium statistics this is his 329th career start if he finishes on the podium it'll be an 85th podium and that's 22% in reverse grid racing that's an incredible stat now and is he about to lose the lead Rob King goes through and past as well goes Sean Smith Miles Rudman challenging too he's on the outside line Will Gibson is in fifth and Jack Parker finds himself down in third Sean Smith threw into second very neatly done there good passing opportunities at Rocket they come out of Rocket now heading down into Peel so it's Rob King who's responding well this is a game we say it program after program legends you can get past but you can get back on it and repass 
So it is absolutely pure racing. They swap places, they have to read what each other are doing, understand each other, of course, and they provide superb entertainment. And it's Rob King heading the field at the moment. Nathan Anthony in the first of Vans 29. Savan still in the mix as well with James Hall Morton right behind him. We ride on, on board in van with Nathan Anthony again, looking at Will Gibson, who's got the line covered, coming up into the banking here. Only slight banking on this corner, but most of the drivers love it. They love all of the corners here on this track. It's such a popular venue. We haven't missed a year since Anglesey has been open, to my knowledge. Marcus Pett is up with them again as well. Marcus Pett now is ahead of John Mickle. So Pett on calculations here could be edging towards maybe the day's overall victory. John Mickle in behind, of course, never ever discount John Mickle in the number four car. Nathan Anthony has a challenge from James Hall Morton on the inside line on the outside. That's Marcus Pett going for position. And I tell you what, Nathan Anthony read that superbly as far as Marcus Pett was concerned, but Gibson spins. Oh, such a shame for the 57 car. We've got another day's racing tomorrow here on Anglesey. He'll be hoping to get back on the podium in the 57 machine, but the close nature of the racing, he takes the chance. Well, good news is that Phil Turner's back out on track. Mike Schlupf and Jonty Norman all involved together dicing for position. Phil perhaps not looking the happiest at the moment, but Mike Schlupf and Jonty Norman really engaged in battle at the moment. It's the JLM3 car ahead of the 43, who's going to have a look down the inside line is Jonty. And off go, that's Bill Reid off the circuit. Sadly, Bill Reid's car off the circuit. He becomes our first retiree in this one as Cy Haraway is now in the mix as well coming through. So Haraway could be in the mix as well for top scorer on the day. The new championship leader, by my maths again, Haraway leads from Mickle and Miles Rudman. John Mickle second, Miles Rudman third. Here they come up towards Rocket again. This the battle between Sean Smith in the 21, Jack Parker in the 13 car. Parker goes wide, the battle for the lead between these two. You can see Rob King's dropped away and it's Sean Smith out front. Jack Parker couldn't quite work out where to get past there. A big, big pack right behind them. And now you can see coming through is Matt Rainbow on board with Nathan Anthony side by side with Matt. Matt's got the line in the Dynarod car, nips through, makes up another position after a superb fifth in race two. Is he going to get better in this one? Remember, he scored well, so he started towards the back of the grid in this final race of round three of the 2019 championship. But Sean Smith still out front. Sean with three career race wins in Legends under his belt and very much a fancy driver for the overall championship. He's there ahead of Jack Parker. Miles Rodman coming under pressure from Marcus Pett, who has a look on the inside line, decides to stick sort of mid-circuit I guess to get a good entry into the corner Rob King still in fifth immediately behind but watch Marcus Peck to see what he can do in the 79 machine challenging Miles Rudman still Sean Smith out front again any one of these drivers all of the, the top five indeed the top six as we can see John Mickle of all one races in Legends and now Peck goes to the outside line can he make it to the inside, he's got the inside lines to come up towards Rocket, but with the, with the leaders, it's Jack Parker out front in the 13, but out breaks himself. Parker comes back on, that was a very quick recovery. Marcus Pett is forced to the outside line. And can he get third place? Anthony still involved in the mix there with the Dynarod car, but now the leader, a, a little bit of breathing space for Sean Smith out front. Parker got back on track very, very quickly. That was a masterly recovery from Jack Parker and he's still in P2 but he's got Miles Rudman right with him and Marcus Pett immediately in front of Miles Rudman still Rob King next up James Hall Morton in the mix as well on the back of John Mickle and across the line they go here in this 12 lap final the first two races were 10 lap heats and although this is the final race of the round remember it's the top point scorer across all three races that wins the day so it's not the final, it's just the final race of the day. Sean Smith still leading. Jack Parker in second will be looking in his mirrors at Marcus Pett, who he knows has been very quick all day long coming through the field. None more so than in this race from right at the back as one of the top point scoring drivers along with Cy Haraway. Haraway, the car left of shot, out of shot now as James Hall Morton challenges John Mickle and bump drafting, trying to work with each other to close in on the cars up ahead. 
And John has a little bit of a moment there. Hard, hard on the brakes for Mikkel. Nathan Anthony sadly again has a spin. It's not to be Nathan's day, but as before, that's the spirit of Nathan Anthony. Very quick recovery. Get on with the race. Get as many points as you can. Always a great driver to watch Nathan Anthony as Matt Rainbow does a bit of drifting at the back of shot there. So Haraway now all over the back of James Hall Morton. Chauncey Norman and Mike Schlupp having a superb race. This is for 14th place. Schlupp on the inside line manages to go through. Chauncey Norman in the sedan shape, the slightly bigger rear quarter window. The others are the coupes. Not too many sedans around these days. I think the coupe shape habit was originally a trend set by probably John Higgins, the multi-champion, back a few years ago as we again pick up with the lead group and Cy Haraway now busy challenging the 74 of Rob King closing in as they go on the last lap how much more can Haraway close up and Miles Rubman spins Miles Rubman is going to lose championship points there he gets going again and it's all about the recovery for Rubman out front it's Sean Smith looking for a fourth career win Jack Parker still running strongly but it's Sean Smith out front Parker challenging him for it's going to be between these two surely for the race win but look at Rob King coming up and challenging for a podium on the inside line of Marcus Peck Peck will be the overall day's winner by my maths at the moment but we've still got half a lap to go Haraway will have something to say about that as well in the mix as well is the 32 car of James Hall Morton looks like he's going to have a strong finish oh I spoke too soon straight lines there Matt Rainbow on the inside line. John Mickel is there in the mix as well, but here comes the battle for the lead, and it's Sean Smith out front. Jack Parker hounding him all the way. Now, down the hill they come. Parker trying everything he can to get past Smith. Oh, and that's Rainbow. Wheel off, and on his side, Matt Rainbow is out of the race. Let's hope he's OK. It's the last lap, so we won't get red flags straight away. The marshals, I'm sure, will be with him straight away, but it's Sean Smith taking the win. Smith wins, Parker second, Rob King takes third place from Marcus Pett, who I think has done enough to secure the day's win. Everybody on scene very quickly, Matt is out of the car. That's great news to see him out of the car, but not good to see the car in that state for the newcomer who was showing so much promise in races one and two, and indeed in this third race. Sean Smith, the winner from Jack Parker and Rob King. Marcus Pett fourth, then Cy Haraway and Nick Bridgman. Miles Rudman seventh from John Mickel, Nathan Anthony and Connor Mills. Eleventh was Paul Simmons from Paul Simkiss and Will Gibson. John T. Norman next from Mike Schlurp. They had a great battle, didn't they? James Hall Morton in 16th, fastest lap of the race on lap eight, went to Marcus Pett. A great day for him. Sean, fantastic race there. The battle was on from, uh, from the word go, really. Yeah, it was. It was... Uh... We didn't have such a good day to start off with. Um, we got a front row sort of start in that one and got managed to get away. Um, me and Jack, we had a brilliant race, really good. Really good, but I was pushed all the way. Jack, welcome back to the podium. We're used to seeing you at the front end there, and that was a good race. It was a good race. After the problems that we've had this morning, yeah, I'm happy to take second. It would have been nice to get that first off, Sean, but um, I'd take second any day. What issues did you have earlier on? Uh, we had a bolt snap on the rear axle, so what it lied the axle actually went way away, and it just shoved the car all around, so I had to uh, retire. Rob, welcome return there onto the podium. Good race there in a hard fought battle, I think, all the way through. Really, really hard going there all the way through. Um, it was actually easier at the front, but uh, it just got, I've just been annihilated every time. People behind you wanted to get through. Brilliant, it's what Legends is all about. The results of round three look like this. Marcus Pett taking the win from Cy Haraway, who's the championship leader. Miles Rudman in third ahead of John Mickle and a career best for Nick Bridgman in fifth place. Jack Parker six from Sean Smith, then Paul Simkis, Paul Simmons and Nathan Anthony. Here's the man who did it today with a third, a first and a fourth. He'll be back with us next time here on Anglesey.